everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be going over the four main malware distribution techniques that you might come across. Recently, there has been a drastic increase in malware activity to the point where antivirus test institutes like avtest.com have estimated around 450,000 pieces of malware being detected every single day. And so, Knowing the four main sources of malware distribution can help you keep your system protected at all times. But ultimately, you should always have a trustworthy antivirus program on your computer to ward off any malicious software that sneaks either way in. And if you're not sure which one to get, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I usually recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts. Okay, so let's start off with the most prevalent way hackers and state-sponsored hacking groups distribute malware which is through phishing emails. These cyber criminals have become highly skilled at creating emails designed to trick you into clicking on links or downloading files containing harmful code. Nowadays, phishing emails often closely resemble a company's official communication, including logos and branding. These fraudulent emails come in a bunch of forms, but they share one common element, a sense of urgency. One telltale sign of a phishing email is the sender's email address. While the sender's name may appear legitimate, such as Microsoft support, the actual email address can be suspicious. If you receive an email you suspect is a phishing attempt, immediately report it to your internal IT security team for evaluation and potential blocking. If you lack an internal IT security team, use your spam filter to block the email and then delete it. As for our next malware distribution technique, we have Remote Desktop Protocol, or RDP for short. RDP is a network protocol that creates remote connections between computers or servers, typically for legitimate administrative purposes. However, in recent years, cyber criminals have leveraged this technology to an alarming extent. They use automated tools to search the internet for systems with exposed RDP ports, aiming to gain unauthorized access. This infiltration is achieved through a combination of methods, including cracking weak or default login credentials and exploiting vulnerabilities in RDP configurations. Once inside, attackers can introduce a whole bunch of malicious software, compromising the integrity and security of the targeted system. This just goes to show how important it is to fortify RDP configurations and constantly monitor remote access since cyber criminals insist on using this technique to infiltrate systems and spread malware that leads to a whole lot of considerable consequences. As for the third way cyber criminals can spread malware, we have social network scamming. Social network scams are novel and increasingly effective technique for the distribution of malware. In today's connected world, social media is basically everywhere and a big part of our daily routines, which makes it a tempting place for cyber criminals to operate. These scams are often done through deceptive messages, posts, or advertisements on social media websites that appear genuine and trustworthy. They might offer enticing deals, free downloads, or interesting news stories, and an attempt to trick you into clicking on links or downloading seemingly harmless files. However, once you click on these links or start the download, these scams would then compromise your device, steal personal information, or lead the way to even more cyber attacks. As for the fourth and final malware distribution technique, we have drive-by downloads, which are a type of download that is often done without the user's knowledge or consent. These attacks typically happen when you visit a compromised or malicious website, or even when you interact with seemingly legitimate online content. The danger lies in the fact that you don't have to actively download anything. Instead, the malware is automatically delivered and installed on your device through vulnerabilities in your web browser, plugins, or operating system. This method exploits security weaknesses in your software or system, allowing cyber criminals to execute code on your device. Once the malware gains access, it can carry out a range of damaging activities, from stealing sensitive information to taking control of the system. Drive-by downloads can also lead to the installation of ransomware, spyware, or other malicious software, putting your privacy and security at risk. 
To protect against drive-by downloads, it's important to keep software browsers and plugins updated with the latest security patches and exercise caution when visiting unfamiliar or suspicious websites. These proactive measures can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to drive-by download attacks and the associated malware infections. And that's basically it for the four main techniques that cyber criminals use to spread malware. Remember to keep a reliable antivirus program on your computer to actively check for malware, automatically stop drive-by downloads, and scan malicious sites and emails for phishing attempts. If you don't have an antivirus and you don't know which one to get, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts. So make sure to check that out. And also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.